Okay, I believe this deserves a real close look. As, as you saw from Fermilab and CERN, these are the tiniest particles they can find, and they are the same ones we found using light. They use two, two bigger particles. They have to dig through debris. We can see it. Now, what I want to do is take those showers that we created here. You see that? And here is the same thing. If we could use this laser, a cheap laser, a little pulse laser. And you're, the reason you're getting this squirty, heavy-duty particle squirt out of there is because of the black heavy-duty particles slamming the white through the restriction. And that's all it is. It's, it, it requires no energy whatsoever. This is where the Higgs fields start because the white has to get back to the black. And we can actually show you that. And they manifest themselves in little six packs all over the place. Very, very elegant as they recombine right here back to the black. And you'll see the black actually being absorbed right into the white. It's absolutely amazing. You see that? That's from a red pulsed laser. What we're seeing here is the tips of those Higgs fields coming at us. And they are cone shaped. They go back this way. And the tip, tip, tip is what starts to add into the black. They are reabsorbed to become black and white particles, just like they started out. Now, some of them get absorbed way down in the pockets, but most of them are only on the tips. And here's those six packs. You see? There's that little two, four, six. Two, four, six. Each add two into each other, and they make these elegant little six packs everywhere. It's not just this tip, it's every one of them is does the same thing. Now, I showed you the dark matter, and dark matter is literally everywhere. There's dark matter saturated here, just like it is here, just like it is here, just like it is here, 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 here. The only way you can see it though is if you take the completely white particle and it put, the black has to be on top of it. It never separates like that. They're always, as a unit, the Dirac neutrino. We separated them, created fission and fusion. And that's the only way you will ever see those black particles. You're never going to see them on their own, just laying around. They're going to be attached to something, it appears to me. I do believe there's extra, though. I believe extra black ones can accumulate around white ones, or white ones around black ones, it's, it goes both ways, but I don't think there's an even number. And the reason I think that, because where do these all black ones come in that are starting to tag back to the white ones? You see them making these stripes out of here? Because the black, white ones want the other white ones to stay away from them. They do not like each other. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. And then the blacks fill in to recombine. As I showed you, the white wraps right around the block. And right here, I think we get a hell of a lot of energy. And this is what I'm asking to have it examined. That's really all I'm asking for, is to have this examined. And if it works, right there, we could possibly harvest just tons of energy. And it wants so desperately to be back to its black partner. The white sounds so desperately to be back to the black. We could send it through all kinds of devices and use that energy. It's free, and then you carry it around like this. All right, you could carry it around just like this. This is a device that it was minuscule, absolutely tiny. And if you can get enough energy, and they, they claim the amount of increase in energy is absolutely exponential. This should power a house, a car, water pumps, lighting, anything you want for free. Once you build it, pst, Done. Solid state, run forever, case closed. We do this all day long, right onto a substrate. We could do this. I mean, it's not being done. We don't have the money to do this stuff. But we could do this all day long. Now, in the big particle colliders, they want to smash something and get all a bunch of energy and then turn that somehow into energy. Now, we're just squirting these raw electrons. That's what they want, is the electron power. We've isolated it, and I think we can get free energy, but it's going to take a little bit of money, but not thousands of dollars, not, not even $20,000 probably. You could figure this out, and it, it would either it's going to work or it isn't going to work, and in one month, the case is closed. Yes or no. I see no question whatsoever with some good 
engineers and enough money that you could buy get some good lasers and design a little venturi and you, you can use right now um, the solar collectors they have now to see if it increases the energy that's all if it increases it means we're going to get free energy if it doesn't we're screwed <laughs>